All right, this is my scholarly person um, presentation. These are my two audience members. Hey, laugh about it, boy. So this presentation is about what I see um, as a scholarly person, traits and other things like that, that I find in scholarly people and everyday heroes. And I'm going to tell you about my academic plan a little bit as well. Um, so traits of a scholarly person, um, they're knowledgeable about their field, so advanced knowledge of their field that they are in or studied in, um, basic knowledge about the field that can affect or be intertwined with their thinking. Advertising, I'm an advertising major, but I also took marketing classes and communication classes because I want to be able to communicate with my clients and coworkers and all other aspects of things as well as like marketing. I um, understand markets better, I can analyze them, and um, I took a few digital marketing classes and things like that. So it's just helpful with um, just knowing a consumer, knowing the markets that they're in, and stuff like that, um, and my ability to add. Uh, the ability to communicate is very key to me. Um, communication is all key and helps all aspects of life. Needs to communicate with people above and below and you, you and your job. And then um, communication with organizations as well, so like business and others, friends, and things like that. Um, organization skills, because you need to keep organized to work hard to keep um, your tasks separate and your um, goals moving forward. And then uh, a hard work. My everyday hero traits, this is kind of a long thing, but um, kind, just because being kind doesn't hurt anybody, and they're all kind of similar, um, but kind, be kind to everyone, they'll be kind back to you, and if they're not, it's just, you were kind to them, so you kind of feel good about yourself. Uh, common knowledge, just because it's always fun meeting someone that um, is a little knowledgeable on everything, which is uh, can create for interesting interactions or conversations. Companionship, being a friend, friendship, and kind of similar thing. Patience is key to me because um, people make mistakes, so um, just the ability to stay patient with either friends, family, or coworkers, just something that um, I think an everyday hero trait would have. And then just being caring. Uh, some people just need a person to look to or talk to, and uh, if you can be that person just to come just to make their day or change their attitude, you can just get a little bit. So my academic plan, uh, I'm an advertising major. I took this because I kind of grew up around mass communication because my um, dad and mom were both mass comm majors at Michigan State. So I was just always kind of around it and I always had a passion for it. So I took it one step further and got an advertising major here at Loma. Um, and then my individualized study plan, this kind of just helped me branch out into few different field areas that I wanted to study. Um, coaching specifically was just because I wanted, it was more personal for me because I just wanted, um, I want to coach my kids when I'm older, so that's just kind of fun. Um, it just kind of gave me an understanding of what it means to be a good coach and how to be an effective coach. Uh, I took marketing classes to get a better understanding of markets um, because I will obviously be advertising for markets and I just want to get a better understanding of consumers. And then I took multiple communication classes for that same reason because I'll be um, communicating in my line of work a lot with either coworkers, clients, um, and other people. But also it kind of helped me um, communicate more in my personal life as well, just coming up to things that will help me get in touch with them so I can stay in touch with um, my personal relations that I can have with people. Uh, being an educated person affects me in the following way. It's just kind of things I see is why I got an education, why I continued my education. Um, I'm possibly um, more of a possibility to make more money in my field, probably a little quicker than someone who isn't educated in this field. Um, I'll be able to step out of my comfort zone and experience different things and explore new paths and not be as uncomfortable as I feel. I feel like um, my education, my higher education helped me that way. So um, I think I'll be able to make more decisions that will impact my life. Positively, so you know the big decisions and like buying a house or a car or um, job changes. I won't be as uncomfortable with that. And if 
feel like I have the most great tools to build the tool. Um, being educated while I'm going through that actually through the policy or technology or even changes in my personal professional life, whether it's a change in hardware at work or um, something like that, or just something as simple as a new phone or a new car, I feel like I'll be able to benefit at this one point. And um, the big thing for me is I'll be able to earn my own living like the way I want to, the way I see maybe working 40 hours or 50 hours a week and not like overworking myself and having a good job and having a family and being able to have time for them. So it's just, I think it's given me the ability to like earn my own living and earn it the way I want to. And then just one last thing about social justice. Um, as an advertiser, there may not be a lot of social justice issues within the field itself, like showing up at work and working with your coworkers. There isn't much of a social justice problem, but I think I'll see more um, social justice issues if I come in contact with a client or a, or a cause that um, wants to advertise about social justice issues. And uh, I'll have to make my decisions whether or not I will work for them, uh, if it's something I believe in or not. But it's something I see fit to be advertised. So um, that's just kind of what I think I'll come across as with social justice.